Hi everybody, I'm back. I'm going to be making something appropriate for the rainy day we're having. I didn't really know what to make, um, but then looking outside, it's been raining all morning. It's pretty cozy inside, so I wanted some hot chocolate. So I'm gonna make some hot chocolate. And I think you'll like it, I hope so. Um, it's simple again, very few ingredients. Um, let's get started. The ingredients you'll need are milk, cocoa powder, chocolate chips, sugar, and vanilla. So we start with our milk. Oh, it's not open. There we go. Um, the recipe actually called for whole milk and cream. This recipe is America's Test Kitchen hot chocolate. Um, called for whole milk and cream. I have neither of those, but I do have regular milk. So I'm just gonna do that, and that's fine. Use whatever milk you want, a milk substitute, um, almond milk, oat milk, whatever you want. So off the heat, start with your two cups of milk, a um, cocoa powder. This is a Dutch process, a tablespoon and half a tablespoon of sugar. And a tablespoon is three teaspoons, I believe, so I'm gonna do a teaspoon and a half of sugar. Whisk up and take it to the stove. to the stove. Here I am. So over um, medium high heat, whisking, and waiting for this to get um, hot. You don't need it boiling. You just want it hot, like maybe, maybe some bubbles starting. Um, and then you add a couple more things. So check back in when the milk mixture has gotten hot. Has everyone watched that Tiger King documentary? It's pretty crazy. We're walking around singing that tiger song, which I'm not gonna do right now, but it's stuck in my head. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. People should not own big cats. That is, that should be the main takeaway. There are crazy people everywhere, you don't need to own a big cat. You can't do anything about crazy people, but you can do something about not owning a tiger. Crazy. Another way you can make hot chocolate is to heat up your milk in a, on the stove or in a microwave and get it pretty close to boiling and then just in a mug add some chocolate chips and the fun thing about that is you can customize it so you can use your dark chocolate chips or your semi-sweet or your milk chocolate or if you have any butterscotch or mint chocolate chips. Um, you can add, I would say like two tablespoons of chips to a mug of milk and that'll be tasty. <laughs> so <laughs> it started boiling. I wasn't paying attention. That's fine. Um, come, oh no, I'll just take it off the heat here. You can stay there. Off the heat, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of chocolate chips and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Just cover it for one minute to let the chips melt. The chocolate has been sitting for a minute and melting, giving it a whisk and it's ready. Actually, I'm gonna go crazy and add just the tiniest pinch of salt because the salt, just like that. 
salt uh, brings out the flavors of everything. So you may think it's weird, but if you just add a little bit, you won't taste it and it'll just make it taste chocolatier. Chocolatier. All right, so hot chocolate is ready. Pouring, making a mess. Oh, geez. <laughs> Oh no, Tim's freaking out behind the camera. I can feel it. <laughs> See, no harm. No harm. This needs one of those spouts. Oh, there we go. I did it better that time. Um, leave a little bit of room because some Grand Marnier in these times a little splash will not hurt anybody you could use peppermint schnapps I've done before which is good or even just a, a bourbon a splash do you want some Tim no okay just for me then a little Grand Marnier marshmallow Cheers, everybody. Stay safe, drink up, keep cozy. See you all soon. Mmm. Oh, that's good with the Marnier. Shit, man. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. Time to get in my Snuggie. It's over there. It's getting there. It's getting there. I saw a tiger. And the tiger saw a man.